Welcome to Let's Play 4 of Motorsport 4, Part 7. And for this segment, I'm going to be using the Mitsubishi Starion. Hooray. And uh, we're going to be doing our f midway event of the Sportsman Series Class D World Championship at Sonoma, the NASCAR circuit, aka Infineon. Eh. So, hey, another new track to the Forza Series. And Ross is going to head the field in an Alpha Brera. Okay. And Fisher in last in a, a Twango. Ooh. So here we go. Time to uh, introduce ourselves, reintroduce ourselves to Sonoma, since it's been a while since. Uh, when was the last time I drove around Sonoma? Was it GT6? I don't think that track was in GT6. I don't fucking know. I don't remember last time I drove around Sonoma. Overall, like out, like overall, NASCAR Heat Evolution, but I'm talking about like in LPs. Hey, look, a TNT logo. Brands. <laughs> Anyways, it's time for heat number one of two, starting eighth. As you do, let's go. Uh, how many laps are we going to do around here? Actually, no, I think Sonoma was... I can't fucking remember, man. I can't fucking remember. Anyways, it's morning time. It, it's time for Sonoma. Yeah, Forza 6 is my most recent. I forgot about Forza 6. It's like, oh yeah, I raced around there in Forza 6. It might... My most recent LP might... Hmm. Depending on, like, which came first, either GT4 or, uh, Dirt to Daytona. Might have been my last LP appearance at Sonoma. I can't remember which, though. It's interesting. Very interesting. Also, this car, in terms of looks, it reminds me of an IROC Camaro. Kind of. I could be, like, completely stupid in thinking that, but, like, early visual n noticing stuff, look, English as a hard language, uh, it, it kind of reminds me of, like, a, uh, a second gen RX-7 and a Camaro IROC. I'm not talking about, like, in terms of the gamer's release, I'm talking about the LP video release, go man. I know GT4 came out, like, was released three years, two or three years after, uh, Dirt to Daytona. Ooh, diving into the herpin. How you doing, Rossi? So speaking of LPs, I, uh, I should probably get back to uploading my shit to VidMe. <laughs> I haven't done that in a bit. And with each passing day, I fall further and further behind. Because, you know, the whole, you know, daily uploads. Hey. Daily uploads because I'm shit at being a human being. So I play video games instead. some mechanical damage. Apparently I'm not. I, I'm i not, no. Apparently I'm dumb. And I don't. And then I just pulled the fuck away. How keep dokey. Worse for me, I guess. Look at that sun. That sure is a sun. I like Sonoma. This track needs to be in more games. It's a cool track.
Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Victory in heat number one. By a nice, comfortable five seconds over Rossi. I wonder how happy Spears is to know that he isn't the back back marker anymore. Still finishing eighth, but, you know, crab. So, let's move on to heat number two. Get Mitsubishi Affinity level one. And here we go. Time for heat number two at Sonoma. And stuff, aka the interior view race. Alright. Look at that boost gauge in the center. It's nice. It's a big ass boost gauge in between the tack and the speedometer. Also, I find it like. I know this goes against like what I usually do in games and like playing games when I say this, but it's kind of neat how like these races are consisted of upgraded cars, not just like like upgraded cars up from pr other classes. Like I'm sure a lot of these cars are like E class stock. Here they are upgraded and at the top of D class. I don't know. It's pretty neat. Back wheel man. I have no idea what the fuck that's supposed to mean. Hooray for uh, vague badge titles. Whoops, I fucking up that turn. Okay. Whoop. Yay, forcing me to use upgraded cars. Yeah. That's going to be the story of this LP. Is me actually being forced to use upgraded cars. Well, A, because that's what the game's giving me. And B, because... Well, it's just going to be necessary for victory. Most likely. So... Our final lap here at Shinuma. Going smoother than the first heat, because I already have a big advantage over Rossi and company. All silent. I'm the greatest, like, let's play man. I, I burn out all of my commentary in the first two episodes because it's like, oh hey, by the way, this game has this, 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 and this, and it also does this, and plus you can do this. Then you know, from there on, we're just like, all right, so we're gonna do this. <laughs> And there we go. Cross the line. Victory. But by how much? Ten seconds this time. Double what my victory was in the last race. Heat. Ooh. So, hooray. And there we go. Ito bringing up the rear in a Kia Forte. Well then, it's interesting. 
So there's our next world championship race down. Barely reached level 2 affinity. Nice. And yeah, I'm the winner. Aren't I just fucking cool? So now we're halfway through the Sportsman series. We got five rounds to go. Next stop, the famous twin ring Motegi Circuit in Tochigi Prefecture, Japan. Yeah, Motegi's next, and uh, we'll be going to Motegi in the next segment, because of how I'm formatting this. So, with that, stay tuned for more Forza Motorsport 4 and the second half of the Sportsman series.